Okay, I just wanted to show you this thing uh, taped up before I spray it. I kind of taped it off where it's going to, where the paint lines won't be seen under where the battery tray um, will cover it and, and then on the left side over here um, kind of the inner fender will be there and then on the bottom down here that's kind of sloping back on the firewall so that shouldn't be as conspicuous as well I'm spraying this with a chassis saver so you want to make sure that uh, you wear rubber gloves and a respirator um, you don't want to get it on your skin it doesn't come off and uh, you know you don't want to breathe this stuff in I also have you can see it down there but I got my big fan blowing out uh, fumes out from uh, underneath the garage door there pretty kind of warm today so it should be okay and um, I think that's it uh, the chassis saver if you spray it this is a flat if you brush it on it'll streak so you don't want to brush it unless you don't care if it's streaked or not I've done it it does streak the can says it will streak and it does streak here's, here's the reducer and there's the chassis saver so um <clears throat> like I said when I'm done stir it you don't want to shake it you can see I got some stuff along the edge here I got to clean it off because the lid it's, it's really hard to get the lid off too. I've destroyed lids where it got up on there and it's just, it just sticks so good it won't come off. So I will just pour it into my uh, sprayer, reduce it by 10%. When I'm done, before I close the can up, I'll clean, clean the edges off to make sure it doesn't stick. And I'll pour a little bit of reducer on the top to keep it from skinning, skinning over. Sometimes it'll skin over. This time I've had this quite a while and it hasn't, and I believe it's because I did put the reducer on top. So just a couple things I do to uh, avoid problems with that. Definitely wear a respirator though. Okay, a couple things I forgot to mention. I got the first coat on. Um, obviously you can see, it's hard to tell now I got the paint on it, but uh, from the inside I put tape behind all the holes so I'm not spraying the black paint inside of the truck. So I wanted to to mention that it seems kind of obvious I guess so I just wanted to mention that the other thing was too with the guns <coughs> these guns are fairly inexpensive so I have one gun just for chassis saver and then if I'm painting something good like when I did the interior I have a separate gun obviously you'll clean the guns in between but um I like having the two separate guns because they're not that expensive and they're cheap but they work great okay there are two things I forgot about okay here's the thing painted doesn't look too bad you know it looks shinier obviously because it's new paint it's the same flat um, that I used when I originally did it but like I said along here where you can see the paint line and down here the battery the battery tray will cover this one and it'll also go right there and then over here where you can see the difference the inner fender will come up and, and cut some of that off so and with the battery in there, this is all covered down here, so I think it'll be fine.